Welcome to 2015. If you haven't been here, it's really great. Haven't seen any flying cars yet, but you never know. I'd like to start the year off by showing you how to play games in 3D using TriDef 3D drivers. Assuming you have TriDef 3D already installed, run TriDef 3D display setup. I have a polarized line interlace TV, so I would choose the first option. But there are many options you can try to get your TV or monitor working in 3D, like reverse, side by side. And in the advanced settings, you can choose by manufacturer or select colored glasses if you don't have a 3D display. For now, I'll set it to side by side and manually set my TV to side by side 3D so I can capture gameplay video in the best quality. Now run 3D Ignition. If you have the TriDef 3D icon on your desktop, it will probably open a menu that allows you to start Ignition from there by selecting Play 3D Games. Click Add Game and TriDef will scan your PC for games. In this case, it found that I recently installed the original Halo. Click Finish or click Add Another Game if you have games it did not detect. Click Add Game. This time it did not detect any games. Click Add Game Manually. Click Using Steam. Click Browse. For some reason, TriDef doesn't detect Batman Arkham City, even though it is supported. Click on the Batman AC icon. Click Next. Start typing the name of your game, or find it in the list. And click on it. Now Batman AC is added to my TriDef Ignition panel, and ready to be played in 3D. Click Add Game. TriDef scans for games. Click Add Game Manually. Browse for the game icon wherever you have the game installed. Here I've added Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, which is not supported by TriDef 3D. Type the name of the game in just to make sure it is not supported. You could try a game that is similar. In this case, Star Wars The Old Republic might work. But instead, click on the text saying the game is not on the list. This is where you can use custom profiles that people put online. For now, just leave it on generic and click finish. There you go. Your unsupported game is ready to go. All you have to do is run it and test it. Some games can't be turned into 3D, like some of the Mortal Kombat series, Mark of the Ninja, Wolfenstein the New Order, and others. You might have noticed I have Strider on my list. It looks great, but a while back it was unplayable in 3D. I would get blank screens every once in a while and it was just bizarre. At the time I put this video together, Batman Arkham Knight had just come out and was not supported by TriDef, so I used the generic setting, just like I just showed you. When I started playing, it looked strange, so I used Alt-Shift-V to turn on Power 3D, and it looked great. But try whatever games you want. I'm using Windows 8 Pro, and I've had games crash before they start, or you could get a blank screen, or flashing screen, or just a plain ugly mess. I don't think it will hurt anything, but you do this at your own risk. If it crashes and takes out your $1,000 solid state drive, I wasn't there when it happened. Well, that's it for this edition of the WH Game Hideout. I'll see you next time, and keep your glasses on. Where are my glasses?